For the third time this year, a deadly officer involved shooting is now under investigation here in our state. The latest shooting happened today in Waterbury after police say the suspect got physical with them when they showed up to investigate something. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live right now from the scene on Craigie Avenue. He has more details for us tonight. Matthew, what are you learning? Yeah, Mark, you can see Craigie is still closed off as this investigation enters its 10th hour. Now, police were initially called here for a well-being check, but this was one that ended in death. I heard a couple of shots and I was a little worried. I didn't know what was going on. This eyewitness heard the shots that shattered the peace of this Waterbury neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. That's why I was surprised, man. I'm shocked to hear all that. Drone three over the multifamily home on 81 Craigie Ave. We're at 1225 in the afternoon. Police say they were called for a well-being check prompted by a suspicious discovery. The resident at that location uh, had reported that uh, there was a bullet hole in between a common wall that separated units there. When police arrived, they say the suspect and at least one officer engaged in a physical struggle, which ended with fatal gunfire. At some point during that struggle, the officer utilized deadly force. The suspect was pronounced dead on scene, marking the third officer involved shooting in the state this year. The difference here is that unlike the other two, the public won't see how this unfolded. Waterbury does not have body cameras. We asked if the suspect was armed, and police say initial reports indicate he was. They say the suspect had a gun permit and a weapon was found on scene. He was a nice guy. I think he had a little trouble recently. In terms of what? Maybe drinking, but it was just sad because he was a you know a good guy. He was great to the neighborhood. You know, I have a little trouble with my knee. He would always like do my driveway, so I, I he was always helpful. Neighbors say this home has been visited by police in the past, and while tragic, they say what happened here today was not entirely surprising. There's a new group of people living in there with him, so just a lot of things were going on. I just wasn't good. A live look at the scene right now. In the last few minutes, we have seen a medical examiner's truck enter here. And police right now, they are not releasing the names of those involved, but they do say the officer was checked out and is fine. This could be the medical examiner's truck or another police officer exiting right now. Now, state police are handling this investigation. But tonight, as we are looking through some of your Facebook comments, many of you are wondering why a city as big as Waterbury does not have body cameras. Well, tonight we are learning that the city is researching that right now, and they actually do have a demonstration scheduled with the company this week. That is the latest live here in Waterbury tonight. Matthew Campbell, Charlotte Eyewitness News.